All right, now what we're going to do is look at this as dice. Okay, so in Inkscape, we should have this. And I should have my arrows. I'm going to make a new called dots. Now you would have to look at dice very carefully to know where to place these things. And I'm probably not doing this very accurately. I don't have a dice in front of me right now. But you should make these dice so if the 1 is next to the 5 and the 3 is next to the 2, look it over very carefully. So you can make these any color. I'm really not going to be picky about too much about that thing. Um, let's say you wanted to make purple or pink dice with black stripes or whatever. Um, for me, I'm just really interested in locking this base out so I don't screw it up and uh, keeping the dots layer on. And what I'll do is zoom in. And using the black arrow, I can take this and I can either move, click it, and rotate it. I guess I'm not going to rotate this, but... It gives you the option to rotate just by clicking on it. And then you click again, you get move. If you hit control D, it will make a duplicate of it. Control D. And don't be too exact yet. I'm really interested in just having you guys having fun with the first lesson or two. Um, and, and then we'll get very complicated. <laughs> So in this case, if I wanted to grab these three, control D, I could. If I wanted to grab these two, I could. If I wanted to grab these four, I could. And what am I missing? Single, two, three, four, five, and then six. So in order to do the six, I'll grab these two and these two and this one, control D, and move it over here. Move this one here, control D and move it here. Now, if you're very um, OCD like you can align these by going into align and distribute and you can move these to like the center of that selection and straighten them out that's a good way to do that say I wanted to select all of these and move them in center of that selection very easy Now, let's go ahead and save this as desktop, PNG, cube, replace it. Let's go back to Blender, and then image, reload image. There we go, we got our dice. All right, so let's go move on to the next video where I show you how to export it, and we can fold it in real life.